You are listening to Love, Light, Lonnie, the podcast. I'm Lonnie Nishiyama, and join me as we discover the gifts that live within all of us and how these gifts bring us together to love, help others, inspire, and of course, vibrate higher. Welcome to Love, Light, Lonnie. Hi, it's Lonnie, and I am back again because, well, it's been a second. A lot's happened. A, I needed a break, (laughs) but then B, I feel like the whole universe needed a break, and the best way to put me in a break is to give my children an illness. So one of my kids, thank God not both of them, um, had that hand, foot, mouth disease, It's awful, but we got through it, and we're all healthy now. (laughs) Um, She's doing amazing. It was just like, woo, a couple of weeks off. And then I just felt like I'm in a time right now where there's a lot of transformation happening, and people around me are shifting, so I just wanted a hot second to kind of recalibrate, and here I am. I have been having the most amazing transformations lately. Um, It's sort of weird because you want to be like, I want to love everyone and help everyone and be everyone's friend. And that's like what we're always trying to do. But literally, it's like not going to happen because it's like my responsibility to take care of myself. And I wasn't doing that. So, forgive the airplane behind me, outside, but I just felt like I needed to focus on myself, and one of the ways I was going to do that was, what is it that I am not learning right now? What is it that I don't understand about life? And it is clear to me now that we all have gifts, right? You may be the best chef in the world. You could be the best mommy in the world there's no best but you know like that's your role and that's what you do and that's how you that's how you shine you know for me spiritually um as a medium and as a mom and as a wife it was like all these roles but and even as a host but like i'm not gonna categorize myself into one box that's the problem I feel like we're all categorizing ourselves into one thing or putting a box around the things that we have gifts in and I don't like that. We all have gifts and we're meant to come together and collaborate and make the world a better place and so and do it together because this is a collective thing. It's not a me thing and not a you thing. It's like we're doing it together and I felt like I was so focused on certain things that I was doing in life and people want me to be only a medium and do this and give a reading to someone and do, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm a spiritual person, but that's not all I have to offer. I also am not only a mother and doing, you know, wiping butts all day and cooking dinner and screaming and giving timeouts. Like I'm not doing that all day and loving and cuddling, but it's just like, that's not going to defy who I am. We all have many, many gifts, and we should be using them together and using them at different times when they're called for it. So even if you're a fitness instructor like my good friend or a real estate agent or um, a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, if that's not your only role in life. And sometimes we get caught up and only focus on one thing for a while, which is really good because we have to excel and like make our careers great and make our lives beautiful and be there for our families. But it's not everything. And I'm starting to realize like I don't want to be boxed into one single thing. Like I'm done with that. So now I'm on a new journey where I'm just going with it. I don't know where this podcast is taking me. I don't know where my life is taking me. I could be here forever. I could be there tomorrow. I don't know. I could be literally in Italy, which is a dream of mine. I want to live in Italy for a while. But it's just doesn't matter. This is life. We're supposed to live each day in the present, in the moment. Of course, you plan your future, your 401, whatever. And you plan, you know, 
for your kids. You have to. It's practical. But I also believe that we should be living for now and living for us and like connecting with one another. And I haven't been doing that lately. And so I had to reflect on myself and be like, what are you doing? (laughs) This is getting really weird. And Lonnie, you're not making any sense. And your life is just kind of like, you're just going through the motions. And that's not who I am. So I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm here to learn. I'm here to grow. That is in the past. I did um, do some, you know, meditation and tried to find myself again. And it was really hard. Um, I'm not going to tell you I found myself. Like, who, <laughs> if I found myself, that means I've reached enlightenment, which means that I'm probably no longer here on earth. So, um, you know, and if someone else finds that, you won't find them ever again because they're gone because they've been enlightened and they're not here. So if you're human, you're learning. And that's what I'm here to do. So many people right now around me have been transforming. It's insane. Like, I feel like life has just been throwing things at us. And I don't want to say it's bad things like crap, but like it's not the easiest stuff. It's stuff for us to learn. And it's been really difficult. And I've seen that with the people I love and the people around me and for myself. So I've tried to be there for everyone, um, but also I have to fill my cup up first and then I can help others, right? That's how it works. It's like, I always say this and I'm sorry if I'm like beating a dead horse. I also hate that saying. Anyways, you can't do anything for your kids or for other people if you don't put the oxygen mask on first in the airplane because as the plane goes down and you're no longer there, they don't know what to do. How are you going to put the oxygen mask on them? So if you're going to help other people, you have to help yourself first. And I've been doing that now and I'm like, what am I doing in my life that has gotten me here that has made me feel like I am not helping myself. So I've taken some time and reflected. And I'm sorry if this podcast episode is so intense. I've just like came in guns blazing. I feel like it's just appropriate for the time because if you're going to tell me right now that you haven't gone through some ish in the last how many couple months or weeks, then you're lying because everyone I know is going through it, good or bad, but everyone's going through some sort of transformation. It's insane. Um, You can call it universe and, you know, astrology, whatever, but I just think it's just what God, universe, source wants us to do right now as a collective. So because of that, I'm going to own it. I'm going to do me. And I've decided that... I am going to now apply new things into my life and new boundaries in my life. Before, I was always so concerned about other people because I think I was ignoring my own issues. It's like, if you're helping other people, it makes you feel good because you're like, well, I'm helping them, and then I'm helping the universe, and then um, it's going to make me feel good. That's also selfish because in reality, I was ignoring my own stuff by helping others to make myself feel better. So now I'm like, no, you gotta work on you, Lonnie. And when you do that, then you can help other people. And I've been doing that, you know, because I have friends that maybe are going through something and I wrap myself up in that and I want to because I love them and they are sweet people, but then I'm ignoring my own stuff, avoiding it. And I didn't come here to avoid stuff. I came here to live a life and live it fully. I am not going to be one of those people that is on my deathbed regretting anything. Like, And regret doesn't mean, oh, I didn't make millions of dollars. Or regret is not, I didn't find the love of my life. Or regret is not, I didn't have this or that. Who cares? I don't want to regret not learning and owning who I am and growing so that my soul doesn't have to keep coming back and doing this again and again and again. So like, I just want to do as much as I can now so that I can be present, enjoy the moments. I was in Palm Desert a few weeks ago and just like standing outside by myself and like all these birds flew by and the air was beautiful and the mountains were so gorgeous and they had like little snow caps on them and I I was just like I'm in heaven right now and being present made me feel grateful 
for the gift of being alive. And I haven't felt that way in a while. So I've decided now I'm on a new path and it doesn't matter what your gift is, if you or what your job is. Don't label yourself as that. You can be so many things. You can be an actor. You can be a real estate agent. You can be a entrepreneur of all sorts and a mom and a dad and I don't know, whatever you want to do. You can be a cactus for all I care. I don't care. Stand there like this. Like, I don't care. But just own it and love it and appreciate that this is the gift we're given. We live so much in anxiety, and I was reading a book. This is not me. Like, every insight I get is not from me. It's from others. Um, but it's like anxiety comes from living in the past, living in the future. What am I going to do? How am I going to have this much money? How am I going to do this or that or that or get that? How am I going to fix the past? How come this happened to me? Why did this happen to me? Why are my parents like this? Like, oh, my dad did this to me. My mom did that to me. It's like, who cares? Just do you and be happy. And when you do that, you will share that beautiful energy with other people around you and they'll feel that and then they'll be able to move on. But I'm not going to sit here and have a podcast where, and I've listened to some and they're, they're actually hilarious. Um, but like Lala Kent, I think she's hilarious. But I don't want to sit around and talk about other people. I don't want to make put others down or make them feel small or talk. Like I don't want to gossip. I'm done with that. I don't even like talking about other people. You can ask any of my friends. It's like not something I do. If I have a problem with someone, I'm just like, not interested. Bye. Didn't feel like it. Bye. Moving on. But when I do say bad things about someone else, it makes me feel bad. And I, that's not my place. They're learning too. And I'm not perfect. Who am I to say or judge anyone else? Okay, look, if you're like a murderer, you hurt my family member, I might be a little PO'd. But like, that's not who I am. So I'm back. I'm ready to go. I've decided what type of host I want to be and where I want to take everything. But also, who cares? Because I could change my mind tomorrow because I'm living in the present. And that's where happiness and peace comes from is living right now. And the past does not defy you and the future has not come yet. So you do the best you can do to plan for it, but be happy, be present, and just love the people around you. Live in the moment, and you'll be good. That's it, okay. And I also feel that we are moving into a time where people are more open about this stuff. So... Go and share your thoughts with anyone. You're allowed to shift your belief system. You don't have to live in what people want you to be. So, thanks.